Herman Bell, notorious for being a cop killer and a member of the Black Liberation Army, will soon become a free man after spending nearly 50 years behind bars for shooting two policemen dead back in 1971. Now, the New York Parole Board's decision even had the support of a son of one of the slain officers. It seems that individuals with no knowledge of Mr. Bell or the circumstances that led me to support his release many years ago have taken it upon themselves to drum up hate and vengeance. The parole board of New York might have shown sympathy and a willingness to forgive, but not the policeman's union, the patrolman's benevolent association. They're guilty then, and they're guilty now, and no cop killer should ever walk the face of the earth. Now, siding with the police is NYC Mayor Bill de Blasio, who called for the decision to be reversed and for Bell to stay behind bars. The parole board received over 367,000 letters urging them not to free Herman Bell, despite his record as a model prisoner. Well, not quite. There were not actually that many individual messages. The association's website gave compliants the option of automatically sending a letter for each of the 62 cop killers listed on the site. That meant that fewer than 6,000 objections to Bell's release generated over 367,000 messages, completely distorting the level of outcry. In fact, according to one poll, 86% of New Yorkers support the parole board's decision. We decided to talk with some former cops about the association's ethics. I can't comprehend a man who openly admitted to killing three cops. Um, I can't comprehend how that person would be allowed to walk the streets. I could picture every cop out there being absolutely outraged at the point of acting on their emotion, especially in today's climate where they are so abused that your, your government has turned their back on the police officers. I can absolutely picture not one cop out there not wanting 600,000 plus letters being sent uh, to the parole board uh, to, uh, requesting this man's parole be denied. It's manipulation. That's quite obvious. You know, I mean, Herman Bell incident, very tragic incident. He actually killed three people. But parole is what it is. You know, we have murders, rapists, arsonists. People are getting paroled every single day. And they're hell bent on. If you kill a cop, they want you to just rot in jail until jail is supposed to reform people. Now, cops like to talk about the perilous situations they put themselves in and the public that they serve in order to do that. But this incident will leave some in New York questioning their integrity. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.